this is a third part of the lecture mission function and organizational structure of clinical engineering services or department uh, this part will be about uh, the typical organization chart for healthcare technology program uh, in this part we'll cover the following points the first point will be about uh, an introduction the second point about the organizational reporting channels uh, for a healthcare technology program or department uh, the third point will be about the safety committee and its relation to the healthcare technology department uh, the fourth point will be about the staff qualifications uh, then we will have a talk about the, the different uh, typical organizational uh, charts for small medium and large clinical engineering programs uh, finally, we'll talk about the clinical engineering center or workshop, uh, the required equipment and other resources. So now we'll start with an introduction about the organizational chart uh, of a clinical engineering department or healthcare technology department. Um, the appropriate name for such department will be the healthcare technology planning and management department uh, because uh, uh, this will cover the, all the tasks performed within this department uh, and covers uh, all the tasks related uh, to the uh, complete life cycle of a medical device by comparison to other names like clinical engineering, uh, healthcare technology management department, uh, which only uh, talk about the management part and not uh, the planning part. Uh, the healthcare technology uh, department has a dynamic environment. Uh, the size and the organizational structure of the healthcare technology department uh, is changing rapidly and continuously, as well as the duties, uh, duties and tasks covered by this department. Uh, the duties and the tasks which are covered which were covered by the healthcare uh, technology department were previously only related to the maintenance activities uh, the preventive maintenance and the corrective maintenance uh, while now the task and the duties of this department uh, need to cover a complete life cycle of a medical device uh, starting with a request from a, depart uh, from a department medical or nursing department and ending with uh, disposal of this device uh, as we can see, the life cycle of a medical device in a hospital starts with a request, passing through the planning part and then through the management part, uh, ending with a disposal of this medical device. Uh, so, the duties and the task rela and activities related to the uh, healthcare technology department uh, should cover all uh, the life cycle of a medical device. Uh, why this environment is dynamic? Uh, there are many reasons behind this continuous uh, dynam uh, this uh, dy uh, continuous change. Uh, well, the first uh, reason is the increased dep uh, dependency of uh, medical staff on the medical devices, uh, either for diagnostic or treatment or whatever. Uh, the second reason is the automation. Uh, as an example, is uh, fully automated the clinical laboratory. Uh, third reason behind this dynamic environment uh, is uh, uh, the integration of uh, medical devices uh, in specific areas or spaces. As an example also will be the integrated hybrid operating rooms. Um, another reason behind this dynamic uh, environment uh, the connectivity the need uh, or to connect or uh, all medical devices to the hospital uh, in the hospital information system or the health system uh, thus we need uh, to have a knowledge about uh, the uh, right format which is the hl7 the health level 7 uh, for uh, connection of medical devices with the health system. Uh, another concern which should uh, address is the cyber security. Uh, adding the, the medical devices uh, to the health system uh, will uh, lead to uh, need to have more awareness about the cyber security for uh, this network. 
Uh, another reason for uh, behind this uh, uh, dynamic environment, uh, the fast uh, development of technology. And thus we need uh, SK staff uh, which has the skills uh, on the assessment, acquisition, as well the budgeting of such technology. Uh, moreover, the biomedical engineering field is considered as an emerging field uh, by comparison or new field by comparison to other engineering uh, fields, uh, such as the civil architect, uh, architect, electrical, electronics, telecommunications, and so on. Also, the requirements for the healthcare technology department becomes also, uh, the requirements become also uh, dynamic for example i will take an example the software previously all we need uh, was uh, a computerized man uh, maintenance management system uh, to uh, cover the maintenance part of the medical devices whereas nowadays we need uh, an, a software which uh, covers the complete or the life cycle of a medical device starting as we said with a request and ending with a disposable of this equipment uh, as we can see here, a typical example or a typical chart for a computerized management system which covers only the maintenance part, which is the preventive maintenance and the corrective maintenance. Uh, here, uh, as we can see here in uh, this uh, chart, which is uh, a typical organizational chart for a medical uh, center, uh, the healthcare technology department uh, is uh, lying under the administrative services. Uh, as we can see, we have three types of services, which uh, in this organizational chart, chart we have uh, the nursing services, uh, the medical services, and the administrative services. The um, healthcare technology program or uh, department uh, is located under the administrative services. Uh, here we see a typical uh, organization chart for a healthcare technology department. Uh, we can see uh, we first we have uh, the director of the clinical engineering department or healthcare technology program. Uh, we have the uh, the biomedical equipment technician team, which is supervised by a biomedical equipment technicians manager or supervisor. Uh, we have also a clinical engineering coordinator with other staffs. Uh, here is another example for a typical organization chart. We see the, the department is uh, shared by the director of uh, healthcare technology department. Uh, we have the pre uh, program manager. We have also clinical engineers. Uh, as we said before, the duties and activities of the clinical engineers uh, should include or should uh, cover uh, the complete life cycle of uh, a medical device and not only limited to the maintenance. Uh, such activities uh, include the technology uh, consultation, uh, per purchase evaluation, life cycle cost analysis, education to users and technicians, compliance with the government and accrediting authorities, uh, device tracking, incident investigation, contract vendor uh, management and other duties. Uh, also, we see uh, another category or a part of the team of this organization chart are the biomedical equipment technicians, uh, supervisors and uh, technicians. Uh, their duties are uh, re related to the inspection, uh, performing of inspection, uh, preventive maintenance, calibration and repair of the medical devices. And finally, here we see the administrative staff uh, in uh, this organization chart. Uh, the reporting uh, inside the, the clinical engineering department or healthcare technology department uh, can be either direct or indirect. A direct reporting will be for uh, the currently for the director of the healthcare technology department where traditionally was uh, for the director of engineering indirectly will be uh, a reporting for the safety committee. Uh, the safety committee is a interdisciplinary group responsible for hospital safety in general uh, and specifically for the healthcare technology. Uh, 
uh, and in specific and, or, or part of its uh, mission in the healthcare technology management. Uh, so what is the purpose of uh, the safety committee? Uh, the purpose is to bring members of the healthcare team together in non-adversarial uh, environment uh, to address, uh, to identify issues affecting patient and safety safety and staff safety, sorry, and formulate an effective approach toward the resolution of, this, uh, of those issues. Uh, another uh, for, uh, role for uh, the committee is to review and approve elements of the health, uh, of healthcare technology management program uh, that has an impact on the safety of the patients and staff. Uh, the members of such committee will be administra administration uh, team, uh, part of the administration team, uh, nursing, clinical staff, personal, engineering, uh, risk management, medical staff, education, purchasing, security, and uh, of course, uh, clinical engineering or healthcare technology uh, team. Uh, the staff qualifications for uh, required for the team or the members of the clinical engineering department. Uh, for manager, uh, the requirements include uh, a certificate or a bachelor or uh, in a clinical engineering, uh, as well as a master of in a business administration or what is known as MBA. Uh, as for the clinical engineers, we need uh, the clinical engineer uh, need uh, uh, should have. Uh, a bachelor or a master degree in engineering. Uh, it's preferable to be a certified one. Uh, for the biomedical equipment technicians, uh, an associate degree in technology or higher. Uh, also, it's preferable to be a certified. Uh, we have uh, different types of biomedical equipment technicians. We have the specialized one and we have the general one. Also, we have different ranking. We have a level one, level two, and level three based on the experience and other requirements. Uh, here we can see an organizational chart for a small clinical engineering department. Um, this uh, such, uh, such department uh, will be for a hospital having a 300 to 500 bed capacity or a medical device inventory of more than 1500 de uh, medical device. Um, such department should be capable of providing the basic service in majority of general biomedical devices, whereas the uh, most uh, uh, sophisticated technical services as well as the clinical engineering consultation and related services will be covered by a third parties. Uh, we have uh, the, the head of the department, a biomedical equipment technician uh, supervisor. Uh, we have also biomedical technicians with the different level, level one and level two, also a clerk. Uh, in this slide, we see the organization chart for medium clinical engineering program. Uh, this is uh, used in a hospital with a 500 to 700 bed capacity or a medical device inventory of more than 2,000 devices. Uh, uh, the, as we can see in this chart, uh, the department will be shared by a director of clinical uh, engineering department. Uh, we have a supervisor for the clinical engineers and the clinical engineers. We have a supervisor for biomedical equipment technicians. Uh, we have biomedical equipment te technicians of uh, uh, level one, uh, level two, sorry, and level three, as we'll have an administrative assistant. Uh, the duties of this department will be uh, providing basic to mid-level services in all and part of the most sophisticated medical devices such as the lab and imaging. Uh, also provide uh, basic clinical engineering services, whereas the most sophisticated technical services and high technical engineering services will be covered by a third party. Uh, in this slide, we see the organization chart for a large clinical engineering program. Um, for example, a hospital with uh, 1,000 to 1,500 bed uh, capacity or has uh, a medical uh, device inventory of more than 1,000 uh, 4,000 uh, device. Uh, 
uh, we have now also a director uh, a supervisor for clinical engineers we have two type of clinical engineers uh, senior and general one uh, we have uh, different types of biomedical equipment technicians we have uh, specialized and general and we have also supervisor for uh, the, this team for this team uh, we have an administrative assistant as well uh, the duties of this department will be providing basic to uh, high level services on almost all medical devices and inventory including the imaging and the laboratory equipment uh, equipment uh, the also should be capable of providing basic to high level clinical engineering services whereas the rule of the third party providers will be limited to sophisticated technical services on a few devices as well as an audit of the clinical engineering services here we can see a drawing for a clinical engineering uh, workshop or center um, we, uh, we have an area for the incoming and outgoing medical equipment. We have a storage area for the spare parts, uh, also for the testing equipment. Uh, we have a working areas for clinical engineers and biomedical technicians. Uh, we have offices for the supervisors of both teams. Uh, we have uh, an office for the manager and director, as well as the administrative assistants. Uh, we have a meeting and conference uh, or uh, conference room for the training and meeting. Uh, as for the equipment uh, we and other resources, uh, we need uh, test and repair equipment. This include uh, this includes uh, oscilloscope, digital multimeters, electronic thermometers, and uh, as well as the medical equipment testing, such as uh, the patient simulators, defibrillator analyzers, um, electrical surgical unit analyzer, infusion pump analyzer, uh, and so on. Uh, other uh, equipment which are also needed, the office equipment, uh, including the computers, printers, photocopiers, fax, uh, we need uh, also a room for the, or uh, a space for the reference books, equipment manuals, uh, referring, uh, reference guides, sus uh, subscriptions to journals and services. Uh, this, this is currently replaced by soft copies, so we don't need, uh, we can save this space for other uh, functions or uh, for other activities. Also, we need uh, other resources which are needed are the office furnishing, including the workbench, uh, benches, desks, chairs, stools, tables, file cabinets, shelving units, storage cabinets, and others.